Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. Yep. And I'll walk away. I'll walk towards the I'll, I'll, I'll hang out. I'll walk with you. No, thanks. You can stay right there. No, I'll walk with you. Okay. okay. I, I know. I'll roll with you. In this video, the cameraman is recording two police officers leaving the department. One of the officers tells the man that he's, quote, free to leave, and the man replies with, I'm free to stay. He asks for both officers' names and badge numbers, and they comply, and then the second officer asks him to take his hand out of his pocket. The cameraman asks if he's being detained, and they say no, so he says, no, I'm not going to take my hand out of my pocket. The second officer asks him to scoot back because they feel uncomfortable getting in the car with the cameraman that close. He says no. They say they're going to walk to their patrol car instead. The cameraman says that he'll walk with them, and then they change their mind and get in the car and drive away. Later. I'm not trying to detain you at all. Do you understand that? What was that? You're free to leave. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm free to stay too, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. See you guys later. Appreciate it. What, uh, what's your name and badge number? Uh, my name is, uh, Ricardo Cortez. Badge number uh, 12509. What was that? Oh, I'm not detained. I'm not taking my hand out of my pocket, no. Alright, I'm Sergeant Cortez. Badge number 12509. And what's your name and badge number? Sergeant Kendorf 13912. And why would I have to take my hand out of my pocket? Sir, it's just an officer safety issue. Officer I'm safety has the, you don't control me, right? Control yeah, you, control you are. You're trying to tell me to take my hand out of my pocket. We're dead here. Yeah, okay. what's your name and badge number? I gave it to you. Oh, you did? Okay, cool. Yeah, see, see, you see you later. See you later. Appreciate it. You too. Cool. Would you mind just taking a few steps back, please, so I can get inside the car? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it would yeah, mess I up my... getting inside the car, so if you wouldn't mind just at least stepping on the sidewalk. It would mess up my, my shot here with the camera, though. Okay. So... Okay. Yep. And I'll walk away. I'll walk towards the... Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll hang out. I'll walk with you. No, thanks. You can stay right there. No, I'll walk with you. Okay. So I, I know. I'll roll with you. We can walk together. See you later, babe. You're dismissed. And that was an easy dismissal here at the Fremont PD. They didn't like the fact that I have my hand in my my uh, hoodie pocket here, but there's nothing that they can do. I can put my hand in my hoodie pocket. If I was detained, then they would have control to tell me not to put my hand in my hoodie pocket. But since I was not detained, they have no control and therefore I kept my hand in my pocket. I actually just subconsciously put it there. I wasn't trying to um, rile them up or anything of that nature. So what do we think of this video? Are the police in the right to ask the man to leave and to take his hand out of his pocket? He may be egging them on, but he is not doing anything illegal. And I personally don't think he was that close to the officer when they were getting into the car. The get your hand out of your pocket line seems more like a way to try and pivot the situation in favor of the police. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What's in, maybe, let's just check out the front. Can I you pull into the parking lot here? Yeah. Let's check out what's in that, that uh, bin right there. No, sir. Why? Uh, what, are you yeah. what are you trying to hide? So this one is pretty interesting. As you could hear from the cameraman, the policeman seemed to grow weary of searching the man's backpack as soon as he realized that he was being filmed. And then he gave the backpack back to the man. When asked if it was a consensual search, the policeman said yes, but the citizen didn't really answer. So there's a possibility that it wasn't entirely consensual. Before the policeman drives away, the cameraman asks if he can search the policeman's car. The policeman says no, and so the cameraman asks if you have nothing to hide, why not just let me look around? Maybe just in the front seat? And the policeman says no. Picks up the man's backpack, unzips it, then starts taking it over to the car. But as soon as he sees me, it appears he becomes a little bit more hesitant about digging into the bag. What's up, man? You consenting to this guy searching your bag? Did you get consent? 
Did you get consent, sir? Take care. Yeah, I did. All right. Did, did you want him to search your bag? No? That's not very nice, man. What's your name? What's your name? Hey! Hey! What's your name? What's your name, buddy? Gonzalez. Gonzalez? What's Five your name? All right. What's yeah. the reason? What's the reason you're trying to search this guy? Um, it was a consensual search. Right. Yep, I asked if I could search the bag. He said yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I search your car? No. Why not? You got something to hide? If you don't have anything to hide, why can't I just look, man? I mean, for all I know, here, here, here. I'll, I'll tell you why I want to search your car. Okay. I've seen cops around Albuquerque plant. Okay. The fact that you wanted to search his bag tells me that you might have that you were trying to plant on him. Now, you could... Recorded by my camera. That, that's fine. But can I look at what's in... Maybe, let's just check out the front. Can I you pull into the parking lot here? No. Let's check out what's in that, that uh, bin right there. No, sir. Why? Uh, what, are you yeah. what are you trying to hide? What's that? Nothing. Then, then what's the big deal? If, if you got nothing to hide, then you should just, you should just let me look. Uh, you don't think so? I mean, that guy had nothing to hide, right? No. And so what did he do? He gave you consent, right? Just be reasonable. Just be a good person, man. Aren't you just a reasonable person by letting somebody shake you down and, and search all your personal belongings? Isn't that just reasonable? Yeah. What's that? Sure. Okay, well, here, go ahead and pull over right here, man. I'm going to check out what you got in there. Okay, hey, get in the parking lot right here. Hey. No, guys, it's actually not reasonable at all to consent to some random person searching through your personal belongings. That's really the whole point of me seeing if it's okay with him if I search through his. The man with the backpack clearly did not want his stuff to be searched, but may have been too nervous to decline the search. The cameraman did do a good job though of explaining to the policeman that it is not right for one person to be able to just shake down another person and look through their stuff. What do you guys think? Did the cameraman handle this well? What about the policeman? Let us know your thoughts. But until so you we have, have proof a that that's what I'm doing, you have no right no, to talk to me. No, that's officer. not true, sir. That is true. That's not true. If I haven't broken a crime, you have we no have legal right, right to, to come. This video starts out with the man asking for the policeman's names and badge numbers. The main officer responds and asks for the cameraman's information. When the cameraman says that he hasn't committed a crime and doesn't need to tell the officer anything, the officer says that it is a legal obligation for him to do so because he was looking through the police car windows. Cameraman says that it is within his First Amendment rights to do so, but then another policeman says that they have a right to check him out if he is partaking in suspicious activity. There's a back and forth between the cameraman and the police in the parking lot, and the cameraman ultimately asks if he is being detained, which he is not, and he goes back to filming. And your name? Make sure that you're, you're not wanted. I'm not wanted. And Do you suspect me of being wanted? Sir, right yeah. now, we don't know who you are. Then it's going to stay that way until you have a legal obligation to find out who I am. We got a legal obligation. No, you don't. You just want, that's a personal obligation. You just want to know who I am. I haven't committed sir. a crime, so I don't have to tell you who I am. Sir, you're out here going and looking in vehicles. Which is a First Amendment protected activity. I can film in public. All this is public. Yes, sir, you okay, so you then if you know that, public. why are we having this conversation, to officer? We have a lawful right to inquire. When people say there's a suspicious person walking through the parking lot filming, we have an obligation to at least come and check you out, sir. And that's simply what the officers are doing. We're not, we're with not that being said, to officer. your filming. Okay, we're, so we're with that being said, with all due respect, if you say I can film all day, yes, sir. why is it? Everyone's standing out here asking me what I'm doing. Because when someone comes in the office and says someone's going out there looking in the patrol cars, we don't know, sir, if, if, if someone's going to break into a patrol car. I have no ill will. If someone's going to steal a patrol car, it happens. And so we have an awful, a lawful obligation to come out and inquire and check and make sure that everything is okay. And if everything is okay, we go about our business, you get to go about yours, and everybody has a great day. Well, that's what's about to happen. I have no ill will intent. I'm not telling y'all my name. I don't want to break in any car. I don't want to get in any car. I'm not touching a car. I'm just taking pictures and videos, which is a lawful activity. So what's it's the purpose? But it's not a felony nor misdemeanor, and you know that. It's but, but it's not. Is that a felony? to investigate as law enforcement. We have every right investigate to a crime. No, we don't. no, I didn't, I'm a, no, I'm a tourist. When we I'm tell citizens, when we uh, tell citizens, when we Thank tell you. citizens to contact something, you see something, say something. If you see people.
doing suspicious things, reach out to law enforcement. And so it's not normal for people to walk through and film uh, in this parking lot. It's not normal to walk around and film around a nuclear station or, or around any high secure area. This is a facility here. We don't know if you're filming something to plan or prepare a jailbreak for somebody. But until so you we have, have proof a that that's what I'm doing, you have no right to no, talk to me. No, it's not. That's officer. not true, sir. That is true. That's not true. If I haven't broken a crime, you have we no have legal right, right to, to come ask me who and I am. Make sure that you are not plotting and planning something against this facility, this facility, which holds a court venue. Okay. And so we have this inside this building, there's courtrooms, sir. Which are open to the public. Which are open to the public, but you're not allowed to take a camera into into that area. But I'm outside. You can't officer. film. So why'd you bring up the inside if I'm outside? I'm telling you. You're that's just reaching now, officer. No, I've done nothing reaching. wrong. And, and, and you know that. I've I'm done not nothing reaching. wrong. And everyone out here knows I've done nothing wrong. We're you're not, reaching for something. You're not reaching for anything. You are reaching. You're but suspicious. it's not a crime. You're suspicious. But it's not a crime. We, 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 we have not told you. Have you been told that you committed a crime? Can I ask you a question? The only important question that I want to ask you Am I being detained? The man was not breaking any law, but walking around a police department parking lot and filming inside the parked patrol cars is odd behavior. What do you guys think? How do you think the main policeman handled this situation? I think he was pretty polite in this particular situation. But was there a situation to begin with, though, that they needed to come out and investigate? Let us know in the comments. I'm curious to know who you are. I'm someone who checks up on the government, and it's suspicious to me that you're so worried about the people putting cameras on you. What are you doing wrong? I'm not doing anything. Then why are you so worried about the cameras? The cameraman is being questioned in the lobby of the police department where he is being asked for his ID. After back and forth between the chief, he is not given a good or legal reason for him to provide identification, so he doesn't. The chief just keeps asking, I'm going to need identification, then calls for two more officers to show up. The cameraman stands his ground and continues to film in the lobby even after the chief says he is detained but doesn't act on it and then decides to not engage with the cameraman. Chief. <clears throat> and if you're going to come into my lobby and videotape in, in today's day and age, I think I have the right to ask you for to identify yourself. Okay, is it not a public lobby? It <clears throat> is. Okay. But this is a little bit... <laughs> is photography a crime? I need your ID. I'm asking if photography is a crime. I it's need a, your ID, it's sir. It's a yes or a no. I need your ID. Why? Do you suspect me of a crime? <clears throat> do you suspect me of a crime? Because in, in the state of we Utah... We have the right to identify it. You can ask, but in the state of Utah, you have to suspect me of a crime in That's order to... That's not true. So it's a stop and ID state, huh? Without even suspicion of a crime. I can tell you, I'm news media. I'm here filming. Well, that would be nice to know. And that that's would, all you need to know. That would you be didn't helpful. ask. Sir, do you have uh, news media identification? Don't need it. Yeah, I'd like that. Well, you can like it all you want, Gary. Hey, this is the chief. Can you send a couple guys down to the lobby? Yeah, I'll do you have media ID? I don't need it. Well, I'm asking you to identify yourself, sir. This is really odd that you're it's walking around my lobby. In my lobby. Vi videotaping this lobby. My that's, lobby. That's suspicious to me. My lobby. And I'm curious to know who you are. I'm someone who checks up on the government, and it's suspicious to me that you're so worried about the people putting cameras on you. What are you doing wrong? I'm not doing anything. Then why are you so worried about the camera? Because I need to know who you are. You are doing something wrong right now. You're trying to demand ID unlawfully. Now, I can understand if you're suspicious, you can ask me what I'm doing. Hi, I'm here filming you to check up on you and make sure that you all are obeying the law and not violating people's rights. That'll be all. Am I detained or am I free to go? No, you're detained. I am detained? Yes. All right, so we're going to do an unlawful detainment then? I need your ID, sir. And what crime do you suspect me of? I need your ID. So you're demanding my ID, and yes, if I don't yes, give it to you, then what? I need your ID. Sir. Well, I'd like to assert my rights, but if you're threatening to violently throw me in a cage or something, if I don't give it, then I'll give it under duress, under threat of violence. Okay. I'm going to ask you to, um, to leave. You can, you're asking me to leave a public lobby. As the media, yes, sir. Okay. the state doesn't issue press passes. So to get a press pass, what you do is you go, you can write it in crayon, or you can create it yourself. Um, on a computer, you can print it out, you can laminate it, you can make it look as professional as you want. But no state anywhere in the United States issues press passes because we have the freedom of the press in the United States of America. No, there's nothing aggressive. Well, I, I feel intimidated and threatened. Well, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, I don't think you I are. That. But what was your name? Can you verbally give it to me? No, it's okay. You, you can't? You got my name right Is that what you tell the judge? I don't tell the judge that, no. No? 
Because you got a little bit more respect for the judge than, than the general public? I'm not going to engage you, sir. Well, you, you're not going to engage me? Good. Then go back to your office. Go back to work. Just and I'll do my job. You see? Have a nice day. All right. You're dismissed. Thank you for coming. The cameraman is doing nothing wrong filming in the lobby. I think the best thing a policeman can do in this kind of situation is not engage from the beginning. It clearly won't end well if the cameraman isn't breaking any laws. The more flustered the policemen get, the better the video. It's something to watch when a policeman can't just use their power to position someone into giving up their rights. Let us know what you guys think. Police. No, it's not. So I can't have you go back inside if they're telling you. To no, it's leave, not. No, nope. call, call FPS. You're wrong. And I don't want to sue you. This one, I wish I had a little more backstory. The cameraman clearly cannot be forcefully removed from the premises since he has not committed a crime. The first policeman tries everything that he can to get the guy to leave without being able to actually force him to leave. And both he and the cameraman know that this is the case. The cameraman is ready to go with information that apparently the policeman should know about, proving that he is doing nothing wrong by filming in the parking lot of a post office. He then attempts to go into the officer's past and strikes a cord before they ultimately leave and the cameraman leaves after them. No, no, I, I no, 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 no. You, I don't care. Well, if you don't care, I'm not going to talk to you. Have a nice day. Well, no, no, I don't want to. I don't want to hear a word out of your mouth. To do with that. Okay. That's a federal. Well, then tell them to call federal as police. As well, then you're not. You're not federal police. Here, though, that's trespassing. No, it's not. So I can't have you go back inside if they're telling you. To no, it's leave, not. No. Leave, call, call FPS. You're wrong. And I don't want to sue you. So you're wrong. I'm trying to. I'm trying to educate can I, you. Can I ask why we're doing this today? Can I give you this? You're just here causing a scene. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. Listen to me. All right. Stop speaking and listen to what I'm telling you. Okay. I, there is a I, I, Department I, 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 of Homeland Security memo dated 2018, which gives me express Mike, permission me to do what I'm doing. Bring it up on your phone. Google it. How about you bring it up on your phone? 2018 me, memo on Show photography. Me. I know what it is. All right. So if you if you trespass me from this property, you're violating my rights and you're going to have a very serious lawsuit. So I would check with your supervisor, a sergeant, a chief, district attorney's office, whoever you want to talk to. And they're going to tell you that I have the right to be here. I assure you. Don't make the mistake. Even Officer though they're Greason. you leave. Yes, he's just misinformed. Okay, and that, you see that door there on the side of the building? Baker 30, Baker 78. Which has been permanently oh, shut. I mean, hang on, hang on. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. I'll, I'll try to get a supervisor Yeah, well, because you want to hear what his nonsense is. You want to hear I'm, the reality of the situation. You, I know how ridiculous you guys are. You come out and do this. That's what you think. You. That's what you That's think. I know how ridiculous right. your police department is and your sheriff's department is. So how's that? Okay. The rest of the world agrees with Gosh, you. You guys are clowns, video, bro, and we're going to straighten you out. So get your supervisor down here. I don't even want to talk to you. They want you off their property, so I'm telling you right now. This is not there. You don't. We're waiting for your supervisor because you don't know the law. All right. Well, in the meantime, I'm telling you not to go on their property. Does that make sense? This is their property right here. Yeah. Isn't it? it so is. you're going to trespass so, me off a of public property without committing a crime. Do you know the law? They're asking you to leave. That's not the law. They're asking you to leave. That's not the law. They're asking you to leave. They so can ask me to stand here. on my head and spin around. I I'm not going to do it. You from the property. So go ahead and do it. Okay. I challenge you We're to trespass. I challenge you to trespass me. Why are you going to do this, man? Not because you're being an. I gotta do it. I don't. I talk to. Them. No, you're not. You. No, you're trying to, to appease business. them. Exactly right. Uphold the law. They're Try that. Honor your oath. Honor your oath. Honor your oath and mean? honor the law. Did you take an oath to the Constitution of the United States? What are you even talking about, dude? It has nothing to do with what we're doing. What are you even talking about, dude? It has nothing to do with what we're doing right now. You're a fool, and I have nothing to say to you. Walk away from me. I'm, no, wa I'm, I'm waiting we're, for we're your supervisor. You're not going on their property. I'm on their property they're now. Are you cognizant? Are you property. alive? So trespass me and I'll leave. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. Trespass right. me. Why are you waiting for your supervisor? In case you're wrong? You're wrong, dude. Trust me. You're very wrong. No. You don't know the you law. I want a supervisor, so I'm getting a supervisor here to try to appease you. No. Because I know how ridiculous this is. So what are you like? An, what are you, what, some kind of appeasement officer? You appease your wife at home, too? You're just like an appeaser guy? Show some respect, Joe. Come on. Show some respect. Show some respect. He's a police officer. So what? I'm a human being. Who cares? Listen, what I think you should have done was you should have rolled up and listened to his story. Then you, then you should have listened to my story. I did. No, you made a decision because I'm one of those auditor guys and you know exactly what I'm doing here. That's what you said right to my camera. Well, I, I, I do know. Oh, bah, 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 bah. You don't know what you're talking about, dude. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah. All right. Well, let me go back in. All right. So I'll, I'll follow you because I want you to let them know that we're allowed to be here. I don't want them to have this idea that they can just throw people off a of public property for no reason. That's not the way the law works. 
what do you think my intent is? I think it's nefarious. Like you said, you said there's no You think it's nefarious? You shouldn't be a police officer. You're a danger out on the streets. Okay. You have no objective point of view. You can't, you don't critically think. Okay. Yeah, you're a scary guy. Yeah, I'm going to have to follow up on you, like, real seriously. We're going to look into your past. How many complaints you have filed against you right now? None. You sure about that? As far as I know. Yeah, no, you, you know better than that. How many complaints do you have filed against you right now? None as far as I know. How many have been closed out in the past year? I don't even know. You're going to be sorry we had this Did conversation, Gre right? Greason. No, you're going to hear about it this time, I can assure you. you are, okay. The smile is going to be wiped from your face. You're going to be very sorry we met today. All right. And I think you have nefarious intent. I'm going to weed you out before that happens. And again, I mean that in every lawful, productive way. There is no threat. I don't see any threats at all there. You wouldn't see a threat if it was standing right in front of your face. Okay. How'd you leave the Marine Corps? Did you get written up while you were in there? No. That's not your I know more about I know more. <laughs> well, you know what? I know more about you than you think I do. Okay. I know you. No, you don't. Yeah, sure I do. Okay. You're gonna, I told you you're going to find out. I told you you were going to find out I was allowed to be here. I told you your sergeant was going to tell you you were wrong. I told you I was going to be right, and I'm telling you I know who you are, and I know a lot more about you than you think I do. I mean, like I said from the beginning, yeah. we're trying to figure this out and handle this professionally as possible. You should have done that before you... I already admitted to you that I was wrong about the trespassing, which, hey, no, we're not right 100% of the time. You're going to you're gonna admit a lot more than that to me. Okay. That's that's just the tip of the iceberg. My, my plan for right now is for you to acknowledge the fact that I have a right to be here doing what I'm doing. You guys get in your cars and leave. Well, yeah, I, you're, you're out, you're do you want to let me finish one thing? So you guys get in your cars and leave. I stick around for a minute or two to prove a point that you didn't chase me away, and I leave, and they'll probably never see me again. That's my plan. Okay. All right. Cool. Very well. My plan is basically to sum it up: is to leave of my own accord and not be chased out of somewhere I have a right to be. All right, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. plan. This policeman was in over his head from the start. The cameraman was ready to go and stood his ground in the parking lot of this post office. Although he was asked to leave, he was able to prove that he was not breaking any law and therefore could not be removed from the parking lot. What do you guys think? Did the policeman deserve what was said to him? Was the cameraman within his rights? Should they have listened to both sides of the story to begin with? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.